By the way, before I start, I recorded this video while talking pretty softly to save my voice, but I forgot to lower my game volume to accommodate, so you might want to watch this video with the captions on. Sorry about that, I'll make up for it in the next videos. Alright, this is Minecraft, but if I stop talking, I die. Um, I came up with this idea after seeing a video or a live stream by a YouTuber called Legitimus, and I thought the concept was pretty interesting, so I decided to steal it for myself. My deaths will be self-determined because I don't have a program to see if I can stop talking and automatically kill me, so I'll need to uh, determine whether I stop talking by myself. If I stop talking for more than three seconds, I think that's enough to kill myself. I did try uh, doing this challenge once before, and I got 20 minutes in, and by then my vocal cords were very tired, so I had to stop. And then I checked the recording, and my microphone was off the entire time. So I'm doing this a second time, and hopefully I'll actually get better results. It, the result, the goal will be to find diamonds, and hopefully I'll be able to do that in less than 20 minutes. And I'll try not to talk too loud this time, and take water breaks so that I don't grab my vocal cords. It looks like we spawned in a tall, tall birch forest biome, which is pretty cool, since these, I think these are pretty rare. I, normally I just see normal birch forest biomes, and the tall ones are a bit rarer. Uh, it looks like there's a mountain over there, and a dark oak forest, and a jungle, which I don't think they spawn next to each other very often. Uh, let's look for a cave. If I can find an azalea tree, um, I should find a lush cave underneath it, because they always spawn under lush caves. And then I can dig down and hopefully find a lush cave and find diamonds that way. Or I can just look around for a cave and go down into one of those. It does look like there are caves here, but they have water in them, which is unfortunate. So I won't be able to go down very easily. I'll need to stop talking so loudly. Sorry if the video, the audio is of poor quality because I'm talking so quietly. Let's see if I can make this barely. That's nice. Ooh, salmon. One of the best sources of food in Minecraft, in my opinion, is salmon, because you can just find them in rivers everywhere. And, I mean, if you don't even have to set up a farm for them, if you need food desperately in Minecraft and you live, and you don't live in a desert, if, like, you live within a reasonably, if you live reasonably close to a river, you can just go in and kill some salmon, and, bam, instant food source. I wonder if I can survive this creature. Uh, looks like it. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. Didn't get much from that, unfortunately. Looks like I'll have to actually craft wood tools. So, not the crafting table. Not yet. Okay, there we go. Craft the crafting table. And then I'll use the crafting table to craft more wood. I'll just craft all of this into wood. Maybe a bad idea, so because I, I can't craft charcoal anymore. But now I'll just mine some stone. There's not really any use for the wooden pickaxe after this point, so I'll just throw it out. One advantage Legit Legitimus had when he was doing that was that it was in a live stream and not a video, so he could interact with chat and use them to get ideas for recording, uh, for what to say, and I have to come up with all these ideas on my own. So maybe I'll do a second version, but I'll, a second attempt, but I'll live stream it. Um, let me know if you want to see that. Maybe leave a comment or a like. Let's, ooh, the, <laughs> those mountains are very icy. I wonder if there's anything special over there. That cave unfortunately didn't go too deep, so I'll just move on for now. There's a beehive here, but not much I can do with the bees. It's not like I'm in a normal survival world. Uh, I thought there was a cave there, but there wasn't any. There's look, there might be a cave down there, but it's, again, it's underwater, and I don't really want to go underwater. Maybe I'll go up high and see if there are any caves in the cliffs. Uh, this is pretty nice world generation. Uh, I think. Minecraft really benefited from the 1.17 world changes, world generation changes. There's also, I mean, ravines were nice. They, this kind of changed after 1.17 and 18, I think, were the Caves and Cliffs update. But before that, the biggest cave you could find was a ravine, which was pretty tall, and uh, so it was dangerous, but it was also the biggest cave. So you could find a lot of diamonds, so it kind of balanced, uh, balanced, and, oh, looks like cheats aren't enabled, so I'll have to enable them to kill myself. Okay, 
add some water. Yeah, so ravines kind of balanced um, risk with reward by ha having a lot of ores exposed, but also being very tall. So you could get shot off by a skeleton or blown off by a creeper by any t at any time, and it wouldn't be very good. You'd just fall to your death. Uh, it, after the caves and cliffs update, there's not very much of that because they're you don't really have to go into ravines anymore. They're big. The caves are really big, but I don't think that change cost too much took too much away from the update. It would be nice to see a little bit more risk going down in the TNG depths though, of <laughs> like Minecraft caves. It's a bit a little bit more risk, I guess, in caves. I guess it, there are a lot of mobs in caves. It, it's nighttime, but sometimes there just aren't a lot of mobs. I guess it depends on the local difficulty. Local difficulty, if you don't know, is one of these numbers up here in your F3 screen, and it determines how often mobs spawn and how much armor they have when they do spawn. And I think it's determined by how much time you've spent in a certain chunk with a certain chunk loaded and how much time you've spent with, uh, like, in the world, and how much time it's been since you died last. So, I'll see if I can make this jump. I believe I died in here, or maybe it was just on the outside. Right, I was mining coal here, and then I stopped talking. Okay, I'll switch that to my first hotbar slot. One thing I find really annoying about Bedrock Edition, I'm briefly switching subjects here, is that you can't switch items in your inventory using hotkeys. Like, if I were to hover over an item in my inventory, I could press the number 6 on my keyboard to switch it to the 6th slot in my hotbar, which makes it really easy to organize your inventory quickly if you know what you're doing. But in Bedrock Edition, they don't have that, so like when I'm playing Sky Wars with friends, I just can't organize my inventory quickly. Um, and I say when I'm playing Skywars with friends because most of my friends play on Bedrock Edition and it's so much worse. But, I mean, if the combat's 1.8-ish, similar to 1.8, uh, which feels way different. But one benefit is that everybody on Bedrock Edition sucks, so I can win all the time, even without being super good at PvP. I guess I'm decent, but I'm not like world class. I can usually beat all my friends, but on PvP Legacy I'll only win a, like, a certain amount of the time. Hopefully I'll be getting better at that soon with more practice. I should probably make torches here so that I can see. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a full bright mod. don't know what happened. You used to be able to set your brightness to infinite in just vanilla Minecraft. Um, but they patched that out, so I can't do that anymore. I also, good thing I found coal because now I don't need to find, I don't need to make charcoal by smelting wood. So, uh, turning, ooh, nice. uh, turning all my wood into planks was a fine idea. Also, I don't like how glow lichen looks so similar to diamonds. It, messes me up every time I see it, or nearly every time I see it. I'll look at it and think, ooh, there are diamonds over there, and then it's just a like it, which is so unfortunate. I don't know why I'm mining coal right now, I already have enough. I have 31 plus the torches I already have. I should probably just dig straight down on that Y56 and I'll need to be a bit deeper to um, find diamonds. I'm gonna take a break for a second to grab water. Alright, I'm back. Uh, taking water breaks is important for stuff like this because I've heard it helps with your vocal cords not getting ruined after 20 minutes. And also, I just in general, I like to drink water frequently. Um, yeah. Also, I dug straight down there. I'm just gonna start digging straight down until I find diamonds because it's or, the most efficient way to find diamonds. Um, usually, I uh, think bad things won't happen when you dig straight down, that's just a myth that they happen like every time, but they don't. It's been tested, I think, <laughs> but that was before they added the giant caves. Uh, last time when I was doing this challenge, my uh, voice uh, deteriorated really quickly, uh, and then my audio cut out. 
I, before the end, I dug straight down and I said, hey, what could go wrong? And then I dug like three blocks down, <laughs> not even three blocks down, and there was a cave with that I dropped into and lost all my hearts. And yeah, so it's not the best idea. I wasn't very high on health at the time, so uh, hopefully it will go better this time. I have more health and won't die from a 10 block drop. I'm going pretty deep now. I wonder if I even have enough. I should probably bank an iron pickaxe. I'll need that for mining diamonds, and also it'll help me mine deep slate faster than a snail's pace. I'll just place this furnace down. Maybe smelt that. I shouldn't have placed my crafting table underneath me. I'll just do a staircase for a little bit so that I can actually get back up to my furnace and take the iron out. But yeah, my pickaxe is about to break, and I didn't want to make another stone pickaxe, so I decided to make another one. I'm just gonna grab a drink of water. I'm not cheating, I just need to drink water frequently. It, I guess it's kind of cheating, but also I. I just want to drink water, uh, not so that it helps with my voice again. I don't really know what to say at this point, but yeah, I would, I'm not drinking water just so that I can come up with stuff to say and kind of cheat, but I would rather drink it than not. I'll make an iron pickaxe real quick here. I'm just narrating everything I'm doing at this point because I don't have anything interesting to talk about, and then. I think once this finishes, I'll just mine the furnace, and hopefully everything will fall out. So, yep, there we go. I'll destroy the crafting table with my fist, which is taking way too long. And then I can continue mining to straight down. Um, yeah, here we go. This is where I found some other iron. So I only managed to smelt half of it, because I was mining more iron while I was smelting the other. Is that deep sleep? Yes! Okay, cool. Cool. I should find diamonds really quickly now since we're at deep slate level. But we're only halfway at deep slate. I need to get out of here. There's uh, ancient city stuff nearby. Um, I'll just kind of... yeah. Yeah, this is fine. But everything is fine. Um, <laughs> okay, now what? I'm hiding in a hole, and there are spiders and skeletons outside, and I need to find diamonds <laughs> before I die. And I, there's a lot of iron, but I don't need iron because there's, I already have iron and I only need for a pickaxe. Actually, I should make armor. That's a good idea. I'll just get really quickly make an iron helmet. Maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll smelt the rest of my stuff too. That would be a good idea. <laughs> there we go. Smelting. I'll just destroy it with my fist once again. I like, caught it. Good. And then once this smelts, I'll make a chest plate, I think. Meanwhile, I'll look around for if there's anything helpful nearby. There's a bit of water down here. That's interesting. Oh, shriekers. That's not interesting. Is that darkness? That's darkness. Okay. I do not want to fight a warden. I just want diamonds. Maybe I'll just continue digging down a different area. Or maybe I'll try and destroy that shrieker. I should probably... I'll definitely just wait for my uh, furnace to finish smelting here. Water again. Alright, just finished smelting. Hopefully I pick up the coal from this. I did. That's good. Oh, there's two shrikers. I've heard that if you set them off three times, a warden spawns, so I'll try not to set them off three times. That's gonna set them off three times, okay. I'll see if a warden spawns. Hopefully it doesn't. There's a tough video of warden spawning. Currently in the process of spawning. So there are skeletons and spiders above me and a warden below me. And you can hear me. I'm just gonna run at this point. Hopefully there's nothing deadly nearby. Um, nothing. Nothing. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Oh, is that a second warden? I hope not. I'm just running at this point. There's... Oh, that's a baby zombie. Nope. Oh my, I dropped my torches. There's a cave right there. I 
can't see. Nope, there's the baby zombie again. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see if I remember where I went. Oh goodness, my memory. Is that a creeper hole? No. For whatever reason, I decided to grab my water out of the smallest water cup imaginable. So now I have to fill it up every time I want to drink more. Uh, okay, so this is the right direction, I think. Yeah, I can see some recognizable cliff types over there. The purpose of this uh, video is basically to train myself to speak more often, because then I'll be able to just record videos and make them interesting without a whole lot of editing, <laughs> because right now I'm putting way, way too much work into my videos. I'll have to like script them, and then record them and edit them, and it takes a while just to make a short, like several hours, just to make a YouTube short, and that's way too much effort for me. I want to actually make YouTube videos, and I don't want to spend several hundred hours just to make a 20, 20 minute video, which I am trying. Uh, I will make some videos that are with, with that high of a production quality, but I don't want all of my videos to do that because I'm just not uploading videos at that point. I'm <laughs> making movies, basically. Yeah, that's not something I want to do. I just want to kind of play Minecraft and record and not have to deal with putting in as much effort. Hopefully I'll be able to make YouTube videos more often that way. And I think I've heard that people learn better with quality over, or quantity over quality. If you just spend... There's an analogy or like somebody, uh, an experiment somebody did, like a, some, a guy teaching a pottery class gave half of his students or told half of his students to make one pot over the course of the class and perfect it and the other class to um, just make one pot every day or over the month and uh, their grades would be determined by the quality of the best pot they produced and the class that the part of the class that made went for quantity over quality consistently produced better results than the class and part of the class that only made one um, one pot over the 30-day period. So hopefully I'll have the same benefit by producing more uh, videos of quality and then as I gain experience I can shift to making more quality oriented videos later down the line once I know what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't drown here, that would be really bad. Uh, okay, here's, here's a spot where there's air. This is where I dug in a spring. Uh, I guess one benefit to having died there is that. Oh, there's a wooden Not the benefit. The benefit's that I'm not going to back. Uh, hopefully, I can just run and I'll jump in that one hole I fall into. And then I'll grab my stuff. And hopefully, the wooden's not chasing me. It's not. There's nothing nearby except for the uh, In that case, I'm going to just quickly. Nope. No, no. Uh, I'm going to, uh, what am I just doing? Okay. Oh, are those tiny things? No, no, no. 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 Is the screen always look like this? I think I'll make a wooden sword. Actually, a stone sword. That would be a good idea. Then I will actually be able to kill everything. Uh, maybe I'll make some a shield when I get the chance. When I get my stuff back. But I'm not, I'm not doing so well right now. I've died twice to that baby zombie. And I failed to get my stuff back. I think I've died three times. One of the times was because I stopped talking. The other two times were because of that zombie villager. I probably died more times. I probably should have died more times to having stopped talking, but I just haven't noticed, probably, and then haven't been able to kill myself. Sometimes it's been because I'm like drinking water and didn't say anything, or I sometimes I actually just don't notice and run out of things to say. But yeah, I should probably be dying more often. Anyway, hopefully I'll be able to find my way back. Maybe I'll swim across the lake and try to stab some fish. 
Uh, I wonder if I can see that. I think I can. People have said worse things without getting demonetized. There's a bit of sugarcane up there growing like a sugarcane farm. Maybe I should start a survival world. If I talk enough, that could be a good source of content that's not at super high effort. Water. Let me know if you want to see a survival world. It could be interesting. You'll probably have a lot of feedback. Maybe I could start a hardcore world and that would force me to be way more cautious. In this world, I'm being way less cautious than usual because I'm trying to find diamonds and that's my main goal and not my safety. In a world, in a hardcore world where my safety is the ultimate priority, that would be a bit different. I would actually craft armor instead of like an iron pickaxe first and then I would use, I would actually use that armor. That's, that drowned looks weird. Is that maybe a mod I'm using that changes the animations? I'm not sure. So, some of the mods, I don't, I'm not even sure what mods I have at this point. Uh, most of them are pretty vanilla looking mods that just enhance performance, like that one that doesn't render, render all of the leaves. It is probably the most notable one, noticeable one. Um, but I think they're fine after I get used to them. Uh, and it does help speed up the game quite a bit, even though I'm playing, I'm not playing on a high-end PC. I don't think you should need a high-end PC to play Minecraft, which is why I have the performance enhancing mods installed. But I don't install anything that actually changes the game from the vanilla experience, because I don't actually like playing super modded Minecraft very often. Sometimes it's fine, but I prefer vanilla. That's what I know. And what I have grown accustomed to. I don't know the crafting recipes of modded Minecraft, and I don't know the metas and farms of modded Minecraft. Luckily the progress I made last time is still here, and hopefully my items haven't despawned because I can come up briefly after, before I got killed again. I think I'll be able to swim down this without drowning. Yeah, I will. So, just a little bit further. There's a cave here. I just set off that, that skull sensor. Is that... Maybe that was a warden. Oh, there's a warden. I, I don't want to die. Um, I'll just run this way. Hopefully the skeleton can't shoot me. They don't have very good aim if they just drift. Oh, he shot me anyway. Okay, let's see. Hopefully the baby zombie just spawned. Uh, zombies didn't. Okay. I'll have to grab any of my items that are still here. It doesn't look like there are any. So I'll just you know, I need to figure out how to make it down to there before dying. Oh my, that's an ancient city. Uh, that's an ancient city. Okay. I guess uh, I'm not going in there. I don't want to, I don't want to die again. I've already died twice. So I probably just want to stay up here. I should look for diamonds while I'm up here and not actively be in red by anything super deadly. I just used all of my blocks. Okay. Well, and my pickaxe is down there. And I only have three wood that I just placed. So I have to figure out a way to get down there in less than five minutes that doesn't kill me and doesn't use more than three wood. So I think I'll be able to parkour my way down there, hopefully. And yeah, if I can make it to that block, I think I'll be able to... Okay, I avoided dying from fall damage. That's step one. Now I need to avoid dying from mobs, which is step two. I also need to grab all my stuff. So I have torches I can use to light up the area to see, to see my items. I also have this. No pickaxe though. That's fine. I have enough iron to make an alternative one. Um, alternative one. There. I feel like there are other items that I missed. They might be up there still, even though I didn't find them. I should get to a safe place now. Probably by the lava and not the ancient city. Um, lava will be able to light everything up for me. I'll also be able to see anything, any diamonds. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should go in that cave. If I can get over there without dying. 
I almost tried to bridge like this, like you do in that rock question. I don't I, mean, I don't play on it very much. I've played on it a little bit, and the things that are different are they feel very weird at first, and then you get used to them and the changes feel different. And I just prefer sticking with one version and it would ideally be Java, but hey, I can't choose anything. Let's see, it's there. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I should make an iron pickaxe in case I do find diamonds. Speak, speaking of diamonds, there it is. Let's see, I'll just make this mine here, and okay, it didn't fall into lava. Nice. So now I can. I wonder how long it's been. Only 28 minutes. Nice. I've been able to talk for 28 solid minutes without my voice dying too much. I guess my throat does feel kind of sore, but it's better than last time. So, I got two diamonds. Maybe I'll continue this world. Let me know what you want me to do next. If I continue this world, maybe I'll keep doing the if I stop talking, I die thing, but with a different goal, like finding uh, Notch Apple. Maybe I'll raid that ancient city. Yeah, and yeah, it'll be interesting. If you want to see more of that, let me know. Let me know. If you have any ideas too. So yeah, I'll see you next time.